What up, people? How you guys doing? Our Banaka here, just relaxing. Figured I had like a couple minutes off real quick. So I just want to drop a quick video and stuff like that. Um, so today I'm going to talk about a little bit about pattern recognition. All right. As individual, um, you know, do we have patterns? How do we recognize pattern up on other, uh, with other people and stuff like that? And what do we do with it? Um, well, quickly, uh, I want to address this individual. Um, he wanted me to take out a stream off of private and stuff like that, which is kind of hard to do if the stream no longer available. Um, cause clean up my channel and stuff like that. I had to get rid of a lot of videos, videos, a long format and all that stuff. So some of them are gone, which which is unfortunate because I was actually looking forward for you to um, pick apart every little details and overanalyze things and put whatever twisted narrative that you wanted to put towards them. So which sucks. I, I was actually looking forward to it. But um, anyway, so now I'm moving on to pattern, right? As individual, right? As people, we all have certain patterns, right? And like the pattern is based on our experience, based on our doctrine, based on our dogmatic belief, and based on our environment, right? So all of which kind of creates our personality and then um, makes us who we are as individual. However, now, when you actually zoom out and being able to apply a certain character trait, right, towards a group of people, then that's when you have a stereotype. Like, for instance, black people have stereotypes, white people have stereotypes, um, even, you know, subcategories of ideas also have stereotypes. Like, let's say a person that see himself as maybe pro-black or the red pill or whatever the case may be, right? So then they are used to seeing their reality based on a particular lens, right? So if you, let's say you pro-black, right? then if you, a lot of things that you see is based through the lens of racism, then you're going to be able, you're going to have, you're going to apply the, those ideas based on whatever categories or issue that you may have at the moment, right? And there's, because that's always going to be in the back of your mind. It's like, if someone says something or do something, then, hey, that might have to do with racism or something like that, right? Or if you are, uh, you know, a red pillar, that might have to do with sexism. Or whatever the case may be. So, but now the thing is, if you are so gun hold about your perspective is the right one, and someone else point out your bias, then therefore are you gonna deny it? Of course you're gonna deny it. Because you don't have a bias, your perspective is the right perspective. You know, how could this be a bias? That person is obviously incorrect about the observation that he made about you. All right? And um, and of course you have every right to deny such opinions or such um, assumption, and and therefore, it's like now the thing is: Are you lying to yourself, or are you truly believing that assertion or that assumption about you is faulty? Right? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Uh, but I know that it's understandable. It's a defense mechanism because if someone point out on how you conduct business on how or how you conduct yourself then that pattern that has been so useful towards you conducting things in life then becomes faulty because people can now use that against you and if the person that is addressing those patterns is actually looking at it from a point of malice then yeah obviously you should deny it because it's the right thing to do and which is like it's so which is why it's so important when you do have close friends and in you know a partner and stuff like that that can actually tell you about yourself when you're wrong that can point out some of the things and you know that and you trust that person enough to know that they're not coming at it from a point of of malice or they're not coming uh, or try to use your that vulnerability towards you right which is you know i'm grateful to actually have people in my life that can point out some of the things and for me to take a step back and look in the mirror and tend to, I guess, like, look at where they're coming from. And if I need adjustment, then I, I will. But if I don't need any adjustment, I'm like, hey, well, 
I guess that's my fault. I'm on, I'm on, I'm gonna keep that, uh, that that faulty trait and stuff like that because it works for me or my not. But anyway, so um, the the thing about stereotype, right? Some stereotypes are true. Some stereotypes are not true, and therefore, but you do have people that, in one end, would praise a certain type of stereotype, right? Uh, they'll praise that stereotype, but that same stereotype. It can also they try to use it as a way that see it as a disrespect like for instance if um someone come up to me and say that okay well are you talking black you know what i mean you talking white why you talk white huh why are you talking white but the same individual when another race of person you know try to act what they would consider acting black then they would take offense they would actually see that other individual as racist stereotype or, or whatever and it's like well, wait a minute aren't you proud of the specific type of notion of what acting black is you know so it's like on unless we want to it's like we want to preserve certain stereotype and use it when it benefits us and then throw a fit when it doesn't right so it's like it's there's so many pattern and stuff like that and when it comes to pattern right the thing i also wanted to talk about when it comes to pattern is that like we are now living in a society where that try to discourage individual to recognize pattern recognition, right? To recognize pattern, right? To kind of make you go against your own instinct when you actually see certain pattern and then try to disdirect it. The reason that is, is A, or like I said previously, the person that using those pattern can actually feel safe and able to, op to continue to operate based on those patterns. And when those patterns are become known to the wider range of people, then they can no longer use that pattern. But however, now they also don't want you to recognize pattern because now you are more vulnerable and more susceptible to whatever tactic they wish to use upon you. Right? So I would say um, the patterns are there. You know, you can see certain patterns and the person might deny those patterns and which they have every right to deny those patterns. But at the end of the day, those patterns help you to kind of figure them out and to also know what type of move they might try to pull. You know, kind of gives you a map of their next move and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, all right, I'm not staying for long. Um, I hope that was, I guess, helpful uh, to whoever that may be. And then as far as the other individual, um, he came at me with respect, I think, right? Uh, as far as addressing me on his uh, on his channel and whatnot, uh, so that's I think that's cool. That's honorable. I mean, I'm not sure if that's the same. You know, is this if it's the same when it comes to behind the scene? If that same level of respect carried out behind the scene and stuff like that. But it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, so I'm out of here. So. Um, I might jump on a live stream with Big J. Oh, no, I'm not going to have time tonight. Fuck. But anyway, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.